today at the occasion of Yom HaShoah, we are commemorate all of them who didn't survive. We want to remember the sorrowful history of the Terezin ghetto and in general to honor all victims of the Shoah. The words remember and honor hide a bitter truth. The bitter truth that we cannot change history. We cannot return the suffering of millions of innocent people. But there is something we can and we must to do. We can change the future. And this is why we must learn from the past. I was born in Vienna. And on September 139, my dad was deceased. Uh, we couldn't come to America, we couldn't get a visa. So we fled to Budapest to visit my grandparents, my mother's parents. Grandfather was a very prominent rabbi. And uh, it's a personal story. And Yom HaShoah is really a time when we must tell our stories. I'm a survivor. I was over three and a half years in concentration camp in 14 places. I was all the years with my sister. Most of the places after the war were writing about the big camps, you know, like Auschwitz and so on. Nobody was writing about the small places in the Baltic states, like uh, Estonia, Latvia, and so on. There's just so much, many different emotions and so many different thoughts that are conveyed through the innocence of these children and what they were experiencing. They found these poems, you know, hidden in their mattresses, hidden in their pillows. I think most of us were just very excited. We knew we were singing for people that were very important, but we also knew that we were singing about something that was very important and representing something that was so meaningful. There's the old saying that music speaks louder than words. There's no doubt that that is true. So to take the poems of these children and set them to music as Robert Convery has done so, so sensitively is an incredibly, an incredibly meaningful thing to do. We Holocaust survivors must tell our stories because our days on Earth are limited. To be confronted with the obscene charge that the Holocaust did not exist is obscene. But there are those who advocate that. I got a kiss from the Prime Minister, Czech uh, Prime Minister. What can I ask better? Right? At my age and with my experience, you know, it was... Uh, a little satisfaction. Somebody recognized how people were uh, discriminated and, uh, and suffered three and a half years. <laughs> 